Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem of add may get zero result, or it could be zero add to payment or uh, zero purchases or whatever, whatever goal you have optimized for. So it could be purchases, it could be uh, payment info, add payment info or uh, initiate checkout. You will see that they will tell you you may get zero result. Now, um, and below it, you will normally see something like based on how you've set up your ad reset, you may not get any ad to payment or you may not get any result to fake this. Consider making changes to your ad set before publishing. Now, the problem is they don't even tell you what change to make. They just tell you that you have to consider making changes. So I will tell you what causes that problem and how to resolve it. There are three major reasons why this problem happens. Number one, it may mean that your budget is too small your budget is too small so when you see that problem you scroll to your budget and check um how much you are spending per day and i will advise you if you are targeting a location like the us or um uk don't use a small budget that is or a budget that is below 20 dollars so something like this, you may consider changing to $20 and above. If you are targeting a first world country like UK, US, Canada, um, United, uh, what do you call it? United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, don't spend or don't budget more than uh, less than $20 a day. So make sure that your budget is above $20. So increase the budget. Okay, that's the first thing you should do. So for example, you go and change your budget to something like $20 per day. <clears throat> let me consider increasing to something like 100 and let's see something. Okay, so if you change the budget to at least $20 a day and you see that they are not changing, the <clears throat> you are still seeing the same info, proceed to the next option, which is change the audience. I told you there are three reasons. We will ex go through all the three and then you see at the end of the day, your problem will be resolved. So go to the second option. The second option is what? Change the audience. Some of you, your audience may be too small. So if your audience size is less than a million, this one is 7.4 to 8.7 million. But if your audience size is less than 1 million, please come and change it. So when you come, uh, you edit the location, Either you, you increase the size of the location or you increase the size of the age. Okay. If the, if the location is just one city, you could make it many cities or the whole country, depending on whatever you are targeting. But what I want you to know is increase the size of the audience. That's the second option. If you try that and you still don't get the results, let's go to the next option. The next option we are going to look most of the time, it could be because the 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 event you are optimizing for is not active so how do we do that you close it and and by the way if you increase the budget make sure you remember to publish make sure that you remember to publish it and then after that if the problem is still not resolved you come to the third option and let me show you this um you go to the third option, or let me just duplicate this campaign. I'm going to duplicate it and check something. Now check, the event you are optimizing for, is it active? So some of you, you have to make sure that it is active. If it is not active, it means that it is the reason why you are having this problem. So you check whether the event you are optimizing for is active. Now, if the event is not active, this is what you have to do. If the event is not active, then um, I want to demonstrate for you how to set up an active event, okay? So let's say you go to, um, so if you come, if you come to the event manager, so you can come here and then click here and go to, event manager so when you come to the event manager you will see among uh, in fact it will bring you to something like this okay so you come to the left and click on data sources then you look at the pixel so let's say this is the pixel 
So if the event is not active, we have to set it up to become active. As you can see here, all my event for this particular pixel are active, but I still want to test and see whether any of them is active or not. For you to know how to test, if you come to the test event, then I tested some earlier, so they are all showing, but I can clear the activity and then test it for you to see how it is. So you come to confirm, confirm your website event and set up correctly. So you come here and click on open. So now when you come to the website, you try to, I want to buy or want to click on something so that we see whether it is working. So if you come back to the event manager, you see uh, add to cart has been processed, page view is processed, view content is processed. Then I'll click on checkout and then I'll click on pay now. Okay. So it's asking me to pay. Then I'll click on pay. So it will now send, ask me to put a number in order. So if you come back to the event manager, you see that uh, initiate checkout, add to cart, like more of them, all the uh, the actions I am taking, they are all what being processed. If I proceed to pay now, hmm, it will actually um, show that a purchase event has been what? It uh, has taken place. So you will see that it will be processed. Now, for some of you, you can reduce the price. So for this one, my purchase event is set up, but if I wanted to try and see whether the purchase event is working or not, I can go to the website and edit and make the price zero or make it one or two dollars and then come back and then buy it. If, if I buy it and then come back and then test and then this particular place, it doesn't show. It means my purchase event is not active. In that case, I have to proceed to set up my purchase event properly. So how do I do that? I have to come to the settings and this one remember this one is for those that your purchase event is not active and even that one if you come here if you come back to the ad manager and you check here you will see that the purchase event will show that it is not active so if you come here and check you see that the purchase event is not active it will be among the inactive event then so this is how i'll do it you come to the settings in the event manager and then you click open event setup to so you put your website or landing page link there, then you open it. Then when you open it, you will see here, they will say track new button. So you click buy now, you click on then pay now. So when it gets to the last part, hmm, you pay. When you pay, it will, after you pay, it will redirect you back to the it, it will redirect you back, the, the receipt link will redirect you back uh, the place where you were seeing this one showing. Let me, let me just do it again. After you follow it and make the payment, okay, that particular receipt link, we, we want to track the URL, okay? I mean that, um, good. I mean, after you follow it to the last place and make the payment, for example, so let's say I wanted to track, um, let me say I get to this place. Let's say I wanted to track here, but after you follow it and get to the last part and make the payment, it will re redirect you to the receipt link. So the, 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 the link here will change. It depends on how your website is, but for most of the website, when you make the payment, there will be a, a link confirming payment and the, that particular link will be the receipt link so we want to track track that link so that if anyone gets to the last part and makes a purchase that particular link will be tracked so would have come and click on track url in this case where i am it is going to track the home page but i mean that if you make the purchase it will track that particular url so you will come here and then consider it as purchase. If it is purchase or whatever event you are going to track. So let example, let's say we want to track initiate checkout. Okay. So you come here and then choose here, make sure that you choose contains not equals. If you choose equals, what it means is that it means if, you know, every product that they buy, the receipt link will be different, but there will be some similarity among it. So when I say similarity, there is something which is the main one that will be containing all the, the receipt, but they will not be exactly the same. So choose contain so that anyone, the, anyone who makes a purchase, the receipt link 
will uh, them, them, the, 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 the main thing that is included in all the, the, the receipt links will be there. So you have to choose contain so that any purchase that is made will be tracked. But if you choose uh, equals, if you choose equals, it means that it will not track all of them because there are some of the, the links are not definitely going to be the same. They'll be different. But if you choose the contains, anyone that makes a purchase, once the purchase, uh, once the receipt contains, there is a particular thing that is in all the receipt links, that particular one will be tracked. So any purchase that they make, it will be tracked. So you have to click on contains, then you click on confirm. When you confirm, and then you go and click on what? Finish setup. I am not, I'm, I will not finish the process because I've already done it, but I'm just trying to show to you. So if you click on confirm, which I will not click. If you click on confirm, you would have come here and click on finish setup. But I didn't click on the confirm because I have already set it up. So when you do it, the event will be set up successfully. And when you come back here, after some time, it normally takes like um with between two hours and 48 hours. Okay. Sometimes it may even take 30 minutes, but I just don't want to over promise you. But with but between 30 minutes and then 48 hours, it is supposed to show. So after you finish setting it up, it will normally take some time. When the event is finally shown here as active, then when you go back to your campaign, and then you come back and choose the event that you want to select, you will see that it will show among the active event and it will definitely solve the problem for you. Follow it. And if you follow it and set up your campaign or you follow all the steps that I recommended and it doesn't solve the problem for you. Please follow, there's a WhatsApp and Telegram link in the description of this video. Follow it to contact me and I will help you. We actually run ad campaigns for businesses. We help them get effective results. We will make our, we can make ourselves available on Zoom to actually look at your problem and resolve it for you. If you also want to outsource your marketing for us to run your advert for you, we will do that because there are a lot of you, you waste a lot of money and you don't get the results you are looking for, especially when it relates to conversion ads. And we will help you do that. Our prices are affordable and we will help you run effective ad campaigns and get the results you're looking. Once again, thank you. Remember to subscribe to this channel, like this video and turn on the notification bell for other more powerful videos like this. Bye bye and see you in the next video.